Hi everyone, this is me, um, Teacher Jen, and in this video, we will discuss about um, Lesson 2, Mathematics in the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum for the Primary Grades. Our intended learning outcomes are as follows. 1. Identify and discuss the content, scope, and sequence of mathematics in the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, or BEC, for the primary grades. Number 2. Explain the importance of the alignment between the content standards, performance standards, and the learning competencies. So mathematics is the science that deals with the logic of shape. It might be triangle, square, hexagon, heptagon, quantity, and arrangement. Math is all around us in everything we do. Um, when we wake up, we need to check the time, even the date, we do schedule, we um, allocate budget for food, for transportation, for internet, and everything. We even see different patterns, even in nature. For example, symmetries like um, reflection, translation, in movement. We also do mathematics, for example, the speed of the car, um, velocity, momentum, accurate calculation of um, electricity, water bills. Um, there are many things that can explain the importance of mathematics. It is the building block for everything in our daily lives, including mobile devices architecture, both ancient and modern, art, money, engineering, and even sports. Therefore, mathematics is a life skill. Mathematics as a school subject must be learned comprehensively and with much depth. Thus, in this lesson, the content of mathematics in the K-12 BEC for the primary grades will be determined, identified, or discussed. Moreover, included also the importance of the alignment between the content and performance standards as well as the learning competencies. Really important. And today, we will need to discuss the contents of the mathematics in the basic education curriculum. To start our discussion, we have this illustration. Given the illustration above, arrange the five different ideas as shown from simple to complex. So you need to start from the simplest um, idea. So we have the five ideas and we need to arrange them from simple to complex. So let's start with, I know math is really important for my learning. I've done my very best in math. I know what math is about. I see the purpose of math every day. And math at high school doesn't worry me at all. So which do you think is the simplest idea? Okay, so some, um, these are the answers of the question I posted in the Google Classroom. Yes, mo uh, most of you are correct. Okay, first it is important, or the simplest idea here is that I know what math is about. This means you are talking about knowledge, about math, facts or knowledge about math, the nature of mathematics or what mathematics is about. Muna, so, muna ang ato ang, that would be our first discussion. Next, next, after knowledge. So, this is a simplest idea. Next is, I see the purpose of math every day okay very good most of you answered um, the same so after um, knowledge you need to understand the purpose of math after knowing what math is about you need to understand its purpose purpose okay so you know that math is about um, let's say problem solving adding subtracting formula Next, you will need to understand um, for its purpose, its function, its value, okay? Then, what could be the next after understanding the purpose? Next, very good. 
you will need to um, evaluate okay you will need to evaluate that means you will give value for the for that particular purpose okay so again you know what mathematics is about you understand its purpose next you value your learning in mathematics okay you appreciate the importance of mathematics and when you appreciate the import the importance of mathematics it will um, eliminate your anxiety or your fear and from that you can say that you always do your best in math so again to recall it is important that we know mathematics know what is mathematics next understand its purpose next value its importance and then um, you will have no more worries or anxiety you will not anymore fear mathematics and from that as a result consequently you can do your best same with our students we need them uh, we they need to know the simplest idea before going to the most complex idea so why did you come up for such arrangement we come up with such arrangement because we um, arrange the idea based on a simple idea to the complex idea is sequencing and alignment necessary yes it is very important so that we will have a more organized idea and uh, we will not be troubled for the concept especially in mathematics so we start with the sayon from simple to complex main topic for today content and nature of instruction of mathematics in the k-12 basic education curriculum for the primary grades so tables one to five that contain specific contents for each of the five content standards or strands are presented below each table indicates the nature of instruction that the framework suggests mathematics teachers follow in their class so this means um, there is a specific content or topic that we need to discuss from kinder to grade 3 levels. So before we start, let us first know the symbols. So the symbol I indicates that informal instruction of the topic is recommended. So what do we mean by informal instruction? It would entail engaging pupils in learning activities that help them introduce the concepts or allow them to use concepts in familiar situations so dili na to idritso o ganang complex da yun we should first introduce the idea um, making them uh, relating to familiar situations okay the language used connects to the home language of the pupils and eventually to the language used in schools for mathematics. So, for example, you will need to introduce a mathematical idea wherein, wherein they can relate. Okay? So, this is to idritso nga mo agtog abstract ni sa concept or idea nga makarelate sila. And that means I for informal instruction. Next is F. The symbol F suggests the formal introduction of teaching or teaching of the topic using formal language and mathematical symbols and notation. So here, we will now start introduce, introducing mathematical symbols. For example, the plus sign, minus. This does not mean, however, the teachers use telling or talk talk either as the main method or the only method of teaching the concept. So, dili lang na siya about um, lecture method. On the contrary, teachers must always try to find interesting ways to introduce concepts formally, clearly, and in an organized manner. Okay, for example, um, as we teach mathematics, we will not automatically go into the abstract concept of math. We can refer to it by starting um, the idea of quantity, counting. Example, you give your pupils candies and you would say um, you would give one kid with 
five candies and the other kid would have three candies then you will ask um, which of you have more candies okay so that is a kind of informal instruction take note informal instruction oftentimes done may, done, may be uh, done outside the classroom we can call this as informal experiences we can get it by exploring the real world okay for example going to a field trip a museum or playing games okay then um the, um, these things will be learned by the pupils then you can also use um, the language used in the home okay for example um, let's say sagging duha ka sagging okay so that is already an informal instruction okay you are already introducing the concept of to by saying duha ka sagging Okay, so when you say duha kasaging plus duha kasaging, you are now introducing the concept of addition. Or duha kasaging punan o duha kasaging. So that is a kind of informal instruction. Okay, another one, you say um, you buy something in the store, and you would say you ask for the change, the idea of sukli. Okay, you are already introducing. Uh, Formal, informal instruction about finding or getting the difference or change. Next, an example for formal introduction or teaching would be the use of words, okay, numbers here, symbols. So, uh, so instead of using real objects in the in the informal instruction, again you can use um, real objects or realia. You can use popsicle sticks model clocks or pictures of objects here you can use na mga symbols mga words mathematical notations and here you will follow na mga um, different uh, steps for using the formal instruction so usually it is given inside the classroom so after the formal introduction of concept or skill, pupils need plenty of time to practice and reinforce the concepts and skills that they have learned. Okay, so um, practicing a newly acquired skill is what we call as reinforcement. Okay, reinforcement. So here the symbol is R. It indicates reinforcement in this stage of instruction. To reinforce means to use teaching approaches that will help students strengthen, support their learning and deepen their understanding of the concepts and skills. So R means to reinforce, to support, to strengthen. Okay, in other words, palig unun ang ilahang newly acquired skills. So this could mean reintroducing the concept, allowing for more practice, drill, or giving activities to help students rectify errors and misconception. Here you can use drill and practice, games, okay, repetition of skill. Enforcement, you can also give formative assessment. Uh, this is to assess and support their learning. So for example, you will have oral participation, you will need to check under their understanding or to assess their weaknesses and strength and give feedback. Uh, this is also to allow the students rectify errors and misconception. That means uh, this is the time students will unlearn a wrong concept. Okay. Next, um, after um, the drill and practice and reinforcement activities, they will need to achieve the next level. We call it as mastery of concepts and skills or M. This means that students must be, uh, this means that M or mastery of concepts and skills that must be achieved at the indicated years. Mastery means that students know and understand solidly. Okay, so this means permanent correct learning of the concepts and are able to execute the processes involved because they understand and know exactly what to do. 
So, here they will exhibit the mastery of concept and skills in mathematics without errors na or gamay na lang na error. Errors and misconceptions should have been identified and corrected by the end of this stage. That's why we conduct some of the tests. This is to measure their overall learning over a period of time. This is also to measure if they really master the concept or skill. Okay?